I'm coming to you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm here this weekend for a seminar. I have a packed schedule of personal spiritual encounters. Every time I come to Florida, a lot of people want and need ministry. And I enjoy ministering to the people all across the East Coast who come down here. And right after this, Thanksgiving. So let me wish you in advance a happy Thanksgiving. I'm really excited today about something great that God has done through our ministry. We were just able to reach 20 million people with the message of this ministry of salvation, healing, and deliverance. How did that happen? I do a lot of media, you know that. In fact, I think that we've probably done more secular media than any other religious figure in America outside of, say, Billy Graham. God has favored us to have a message that is looked on with great interest by the secular world from Oprah to Dr. Phil to CNN and all the major networks. There are so many hundreds of interviews and documentaries that I've done with almost every single major network in America. I've lost track. And in all of these cases, it didn't happen because we sought it, they sought us. So thank God for these open doors that God has given us. And just recently, the number one newspaper and all of England, the most read newspaper, The Sun, did a huge feature story about our ministry. The online edition is what's most interesting. And if you look at our printed blog, you will see a link to look at this because I can only mention just a few things that they said. It included 15 pictures, links to our International School of Exorcism, and also links to some of our YouTube videos. Can you imagine that? Now this is a secular newspaper and they are in effect promoting what we stand for. That's astounding. Now that figure of 20 million comes from all the people who read it. It's the most passed around newspaper in all of the UK. They don't have an actual circulation of 20 million, but that's the number of people who touch the hands of that newspaper. You know, it was just a couple of years ago that 50 million people who read People magazine had an opportunity to hear about this ministry and be confronted with the truth of Jesus Christ and his gospel to set them free. And now, all across the Commonwealth and particularly in the UK, God opened this door. I want you to read it. I want you to get the exact quotes of what they said about this ministry. Frankly, it's almost embarrassing for me to quote it back to you. I'll just let you read it. At one point, they talked about our modern use of technology and the fact that we have, again, millions, more than 10 million watching on YouTube and how we use that in a very professional way to get out our message. They did talk about the International School of Exorcism. We're expecting many, many people to enroll in the school as the result of this so we can raise up an even larger army to set the captives free. And at one point, they made some very kind comments about the gentle nature by which this ministry reaches out to people. I know on YouTube and so on, it's, it's always the violent, more interesting, dramatic scenes that draw people. But the reality is, leading up to that, there's often a long period, sometimes hours, of deep inner healing work. That inner healing work is what brings people to the place where they can be delivered of their demons. And yes, this is a gentle ministry, even though the actual exorcism may not always be very gentle. And then they made a comment about our ministry being the ministry of choice for people all over the world of many religions who can't find answers anywhere else. Well, as I said, I, I was almost embarrassed to see how nice they were to us. And I thank the Son for their very fair and kind story. 
especially the links to our internet site regarding the School of Exorcism and our YouTube exorcisms. You know, if you think about it, if I were the pastor of a mega church, I have to speak to 400,000 people a week, almost. That's 400,000 a week, 52 weeks of the year, to reach the same about of people. That's how God has allowed us to get around the opposition to a ministry like this from mainstream Christianity and go right to the people who needs it the most. And that mega church pastor, if he were speaking to 400,000 people a week, would basically be preaching to the choir. But we're able to reach the people who are not in the choir and most likely not in church. So we thank God when we praise him for this incredible opportunity. And as you share your tithe and offering and your support from week to week and time to time, you know, you really get more effectiveness for your gift through this ministry, I think, dollar for dollar, than any place else you can sow a seed. 